Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. <gasps> There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, push W to peek over the wall. working on the other side of that car. Okay, let's go ahead and just grab this here. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Come over here to the truck. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. You need to find a weapon. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That was awesome. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper.
that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into a nice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine.
Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. That's just terrible. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, let's do this. Yo, Dougie. Dougie, Dougie, Dougie. Mr. Doug Walker. Doug, 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 Doug. Clemmy? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, Glenn, let's go check on you, buddy. How you doing, bud? How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. And then... Let's check on her. Hey there. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. <laughs> oh, Thanks, boy. boy. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Alrighty. Yo, Doug, let's head on out. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Sure. Let's have a look around. Okay. Well, first things first. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. 
Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay, then come up here and use the axe. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Then come over here, grab. I can't reach that brick. Oh yeah, because we gotta actually open it. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <laughs> Now's the time. you were there, you would have died for them. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them, There we go. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters.
got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh mm, boy. It says written bad all over it. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Hi, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help. Please hurry! Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, wait! The window is screwed! Go! God. Let's go. <coughs> they got Doug. They, they. You gotta move. They're not coming with this, you son of a bitch. No. Ow. Why? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Thanks, Kenny. You're a great person, man. Sort of. <laughs> well then. Oh, the 
Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends and be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See ya, Glenn. You've been a you've been a great character. Tell tell Rick I said hi. And good luck with Maddie. Maggie. Not Maddie. What am I talking about? Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You're cute. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Because you're kind of cute, Carly. Well, that's what I got there. <laughs> when you got on his shoulder, it's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought a super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. 
Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine. That was fast. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, For you're right. now. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You had to open your big mouths. Uh, thank you all for watching. My name is McDonald's Guy. Today, I'm calling it. It's been a great day of The Walking Dead. That it has. Make sure you have a safe and happy Halloween. Take care of yourself and each other. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! You would never lie to my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever you thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! Ooh. No more, please! No more, please!